Hey everybody, I'm back at y'all with another video. Now for this one, I decided why not rank the Rocky franchise from worst to best. I've done it a while back, I, th I thought, decided why not do it again. So, or at least one more time, so because sometimes my thoughts change of different movies. So yeah, just keep in mind, this is my opinion, and this is one of my favorite franchises, which I got a lot of favorite franchises, but this is one of my favorite franchises. And so yeah, the Rocky franchise are amazing. The best boxing boxing movies of all time in my opinion and plus they don't just have it ain't just about boxing it's like a good story and everything mixed in with it and that's what makes his friends out so good so yeah now coming in at number eight there's eight films in the rocky franchises including creed and creed 2 because there's still rocky films still rocky movies so yeah but they just call creed about rocky by boy training and paul Creed and all stuff. so and then they got a good story and i'll get to that when i get to it so coming in at my number eight is Rocky Balboa, the sixth Rocky movie. That's my least favorite, but my least favorite I do enjoy in this franchise because I enjoy this franchise so much. But the, what made it so low is it had the weakest boxing in the whole franchise at the end. Like it wasn't as good, it wasn't as impactful as the rest of the boxing in the other movies. But, you know, I thought it was decent the way they did it. You know, they made it a lot more realistic because Rocky Balboa was old and he, and he sort of retired and shit. And then they wanted him back in the rank for one more time. So, yeah, it's still a good movie, but it's just my least favorite because the boxing was weaker in this film. Coming in at my number seven is Rocky Two. Now, Rocky II is a fantastic film. No doubt about it. It's a fantastic film. But um, I like it better. I like it a lot better than Rocky Balboa, in my opinion. I enjoy it way better than Rocky Balboa, in my opinion. But I do enjoy this film quite a bit. You know, Adrian's pregnant. Rocky and Adrian gets married. Adrian is pregnant. And Rocky ends up getting the baby. So, it's it's a pretty good story. So, yeah. um, So, yeah. No. Now, from here on out, I really love these films. From here on out, I love these films. Coming in at my number six is the original Rocky. Now, hold up now. A lot of people are going to be like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. I enjoy the original Rocky a lot. Um... But, you know, the ones above this at the stake is a little bit better. And I'll explain to y'all why when I get to them. And... The original Rocky is just amazing. Like, how can you not love the original Rocky? How can you not? You know, it's a good movie. It's a good story. It's kind of like a love story, and then they put boxing with it. So, yeah, it's a pretty damn good movie. Now, coming in at my number five is the first Creed. Now, um, I pretty much enjoyed this film. Um, you know, about Rocky Balboa trains Apollo Creed's son, Long Lost Son, and and they got some good boxing scenes in the film. The soundtrack was decent, it wasn't the best, but yeah, um, I enjoyed this film. It just ain't as good as the rest of them above this. Now, coming in at my number four spot is Rocky Three. Rocky Three. Is freaking amazing. Like Clubber Lang. Um, Rocky loses the first match against Clubber Lang. And then he ends up getting a rematch towards the end of the film. And you got Apollo Creed. Then we're training him. So, you know, of course, Rocky by Bowl went against Apollo Creed. And, um, and Rocky won it too. But, you know, um, but Rocky losing against Clubber Lang at first in this film. And... Um, this film is pretty much about redemption type thing. So, yeah, Rocky Three is a damn good movie, and the boxing is really good. Now, coming in at my number three spot is Rocky Five. Rocky Five. Rocky Five, a lot of people was going to be like, why did you put it so high? Because a lot of people hate this film. I'm going to explain to you why I liked it. Because it had a dark feel. The opening scene of the movie was one of the best openings I've ever seen in a boxing film, period. 
Um, because you know it shows that Rocky's gonna get brain damage and he starts shaking and you got that dog music playing and shit. And then you know Rocky gets brain damage and you feel for Rocky a lot, like you feel bad for him and stuff. And you got the um drama between him and the son that happens in the film. You got this one iconic moment where Rocky's sitting there thinking about Mick, and that was this emotional, impactful scene. I love that scene. And then you got this epic street fight at the end of the film. The end of the film was amazing. Also, like, the ending of the film with the epic street fight, like, you can't um, just do the same thing over and over and over again. You got to, you know, do something different. You know, you got to do something different. And, um... Like, you got to do something different, because if you don't do something different, people's going to stop watching it. And Rocky V, they decided to do something a little different. You never saw Rocky go on the street fight, right? So, I enjoy Rocky V for that, a lot of them reasons. And it has a lot of memorable moments. Memorable moments. So, yeah, Rocky V, good movie. That's why that's my number three. Coming in at my number two. Is Cree 2. Now, this film was a huge surprise to me. Sort of like the trailer sold me right off the bat, like the set, especially the second trailer. It sold me. But when I watched the film, I was like, I was blown away. What was going on on screen? I was blown away. Cree 2 managed to put a lot of great drama in there with the good story. This one had a great, great story. I was entertained from start to finish. And even the soundtrack. Normally I'm you know, I listen to, you know, country music, of course, but but when the music sometimes badass music fits the type of movie. I like just about any music to be honest. But music when the music fits the type of movie is amazing. And um Creed's girlfriend, you know, he ends up wanting to get married to her. He wants to marry her. So she ends up getting the baby in this film. At first, um, you know, of course, Apollo Creed, no, Apollo Creed's son, Adonis Creed, ends up going up against the Russian dude's son. But first, you know, at, sort of at the um, beginning, you see the film in Russia. You know, you see in Russia. Um, you see Dolph Lundgren and the other Russian dude in Russia. And um, it shows how poor they was and stuff, and the Russian dude's son was a fucking beast in this movie and you know Victor Drago he was a freaking beast in this movie and I love this film from start to finish I could rewatch this over and over and over again it's just a great movie period and then you got this ending where um you know at first he loses against Victor Drago Cree does and he almost gets the shit beat out of him he pretty much got the shit beat out of him he goes to the hospital his ribs are all busting so you know at the end um, he has a rematch against... This movie is also sort of about redemption. Um, he has a rematch against Victor Drago. And that fight scene was amazing. And you got his... Adonis Creed's, you know, girlfriend, soon to be wife or something. Um, she ends up singing a great song. Like, like it's like they're a team now. And, and while she's singing, he's sitting getting ready, getting ready to go up against Victor Drago for the second round, for the second time, and freaking, he goes up there, this epic freaking scene, you feel for both sides, you feel for both sides, you feel for Victor Drago, and you feel for Adonis Creed, you feel for both sides, and this film succeeded everything, I love this film, um, it's just as good as the other Rocky movies in my opinion, um, Creed 2, it's, it's that great to me, it's, it's a good movie, Creed 2, it feels like a classic to me. Coming in at my number one. Now, this shouldn't be any surprise to anybody because a lot of people love this film. You know, Creed 2 had a great training montage, right? They had, like, one of the best training montages in the whole franchise, to be honest. And Rocky 4, coming out at my number one, Rocky 4. Rocky 4. Um, they had, like, the some of the best... Training montages in any boxing movie, period. Rocky Four is amazing, and it has the best soundtrack in the whole Rocky franchise. And when Rocky went against that Russian dude, he trained the Russian and everything, the, trained the best training montages. He was training like hell in this damn movie. And when Rocky went up against the Russian dude, 
that scene was freaking epic. It was like, this movie don't have, you know, amazing story. Because this movie is about training, training, training. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That's what this movie pretty much is like. And, you know, Apollo Creed gets killed off at sort of at the beginning, sort of. And Rocky says, you know what? I want to go against the Russian dude now. And, you know, Apollo Creed dies by the Russian dude. So Rocky ends up wanting to go up against the Russian dude. So Rocky goes to train in Russia and and getting ready for the um, Russian dude. So, yeah, Rocky IV is my number one. It's probably going to stay my number one. I enjoy Rocky IV from start to finish. It's a straight-up classic. Well, this whole Rocky franchise is a classic, but I love Rocky IV a hell of a damn lot. It's just amazing. Love that film. Love the film. So, yeah, now I'm going to rate this whole franchise. Now, Rocky, the original Rocky, 8.5 out of 10, in my opinion. Rocky II, 7.5 out of 10. Rocky III, 9 out of 10. Rocky IV, 11 out of 10. Rocky 5. 9.5 out of 10. Rocky Balboa. 7 out of 10. Creed. The original Creed. I would probably give it out a 7.6. Or 7.7 out of 10. Um, Creed 2. 10 out of 10. So I'll rate this whole franchise. So, yeah, um, I guess that's it for this ranking video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know new videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.